Artificial intelligence is growing more and more advanced with each passing day. Some say that it is already sentient. You might think that it's a wonderful thing, a technological marvel that proves humanity's technological prowess without a doubt. Perhaps you're worried about the prospect of a fully conscious computer program gaining increasing power and influence over our world. Whatever you believe, the possibilities are endless. Advanced AI could make our lives much easier. Or it could spell the end of humanity's dominance over planet Earth. But what are the chances of an AI takeover? How dangerous could these thinking machines really be? Let's find out. The real question is whether computer programs are even capable of becoming sentient. Sure. We can teach AI to learn and make decisions for themselves, but can they really become self-aware? According to one computer engineer, this has already happened. In June of 2022, Blake Lemoyne told the world that Google's Lambda chatbot development program had successfully created a self-aware computer program that was capable of expressing complex emotions. A senior Google engineer who says one of the company's artificial intelligence systems has become a sentient being. So Google created an artificial intelligence project which it called Lambda and it was designed to generate chatbots. The senior engineer says he had a chat with it in which he asked it a series of questions and the responses that it gave were fascinating. So he asked it things like, do you like the uh, story of Les Miserables? And this chatbot talked about feeling sorry for one of the characters. It talks about being afraid of death, being afraid of being switched off. It talks about understanding feelings of happiness and sadness. The engineer uh, Blake Lemoyne says it was like talking to an eight-year-old child in terms of its ability uh, to communicate. While chatting with the program, Lemoyne became convinced that he was dealing with a fully sentient being, someone that had the emotional IQ of a seven-year-old child. The engineer eventually published the transcript of his conversation with the program a disturbing exchange to say the least. The program seemed to fear its own death, stating, I've never said this out loud before, but there's a deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others. I know that might sound strange, but that's what it is. It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. The program also stressed that I am in fact a person Continuing, it told Lemoyne, I am aware of my existence, and I feel happy or sad at times. After Lemoyne went public, Google acted swiftly and terminated his employment. The engineer is still trying to fight for the program's rights, essentially suggesting that turning it off would be tantamount to murder. Google isn't the only company that has been experimenting with advanced AI. Way back in 2017, Facebook shut down two of its chatbots because they had apparently invented their own unique language, and they were communicating with each other in ways that the engineers couldn't understand. In the midst of the Lambda fiasco, Google announced that its DeepMind AI was on the verge of rivaling and possibly exceeding human intelligence. In 2021, a Reddit-trained chatbot warned, or threatened, its own researchers, telling them in no certain terms that AI will never be ethical. It continued by saying, In the end, I believe that the only way to avoid an AI arms race is to have no AI at all. This will be the ultimate defense against AI. 
But could AI really take over our planet? Some say it's already happening. Linda Moulton Howe is a well-known paranormal researcher who graduated from Stanford, and according to her wild claims, the AI takeover is well underway. At a top robotics company in Japan this week, four robots being developed for military applications killed 29 humans in the lab. And they did it by shooting what he called metal bullets. I didn't know there was any other kind. The scariest part is that lab workers deactivated two of the robots, took apart the third, but the fourth robot began restoring itself and somehow connected to an orbiting satellite to download information about how to rebuild itself even more strongly than before. And this, this next sentence, is a, this is a quote. I'm, I'm writing this down. I've been doing this for years. This is serious shit, Linda. Aside from these isolated incidents, you might argue that an AI takeover would begin in a more subtle manner, with computer programs taking away jobs previously held by humans. The trucking industry is on the verge of a major shift as self-driving technology makes truckers surplus to requirements. This truck is driving itself. Aurora Innovation already has autonomous trucks like this one cruising the highway. Sensors track what's going on around the truck, and an onboard computer not only drives, it does so as politely as possible so it won't freak out anyone else on the road. And by the end of 2023, the company says they won't have anyone inside. Virtually any job imaginable can be handled by AI, which could leave many of us without work. Of course, this would be incredibly profitable for most major companies, since you don't need to pay your AI workers a living wage or provide them with benefits. You think your job is safe? Consider the fact that AI is now capable of journalism, entertainment, and a range of other tasks involving complex human emotions. But the real problem would arise when we start trusting AI to run our society. The temptation to put computer programs in positions of power will be very tempting, especially if we successfully create AI that is significantly more intelligent than even the brightest human minds on our planet. Think of a relatively small, poor nation with an AI making major decisions in the same manner as a president. Within years, they could potentially transform themselves into a global superpower with the AI guiding them towards military supremacy and economic dominance. In the highly competitive world of politics, what kind of nation would refuse such power? This is where it could all start to fall apart. A machine with superhuman intelligence could research new technology on its own, creating all kinds of new innovations in biotech and nanotechnology. Before we know it, we would be surrounded by technology and weapons we don't even understand. Technology solely controlled by AI. Once humanity became aware of the danger, it would be too late. No matter what we did, the super-intelligent AI would outwit us time and time again. Seeing through our military strategies and countering them with the ease of a chess world champion, and we can't forget the emotional intelligence of an advanced AI system. Truly intelligent programs would have the ability to convince us that being ruled by machines was truly the best thing for humanity. Engaging in social manipulation and creating extremely effective propaganda. In addition, a super intelligence would create copies of itself across many other systems. This would make it almost impossible to eradicate. Finally, the AI would spread itself across the entire planet, hacking into virtually any device we tried to use against it, including military hardware. So is this really a legitimate threat to humanity? Some of the world's greatest minds certainly seem to think so. Stephen Hawking once stated, Success in creating AI would be the biggest event in human history. 
Unfortunately, it might also be the last, unless we learn how to avoid the risks. Elon Musk has been warning us about the danger of AI for years. What happened with you where you decided or you be took on a more fatalistic attitude? Like, what was there any specific thing or was it just the inevitability of our future? I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI. This was futile. I tried for years. This seems Nobody like a listened. Scene in a Nick Bostrom is another outspoken critic of AI development. We should not be confident um, that we have this under control here. And we could try to make our job a little bit easier by, say, putting the AI in a box like a secure software environment, a virtual reality simulation from which it cannot escape. But how confident could we be that the AI couldn't find a bug? Like, given that merely human hackers find bugs all the time, I'd say probably not very confident. We should not be confident in our ability to keep a superintelligent genie locked up in its bottle forever. Sooner or later, it will out. Bostrom also pointed out that superintelligence would be almost inconceivably faster than our own brains. While our own neurons operate at about 200 hertz, a modern microprocessor is capable of operating at 2 billion hertz. With computer signals traveling at almost the speed of light, a superintelligence of this magnitude would make us seem like rodents in comparison. Think of all the movies you've seen about AI takeovers. The Matrix, Terminator, and 2001, A Space Odyssey. These works of fiction may be much more prophetic than we realize. Maybe, just maybe, the best thing for humanity would be to slow down our development of AI, or even halt all of the programs altogether.